Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, today is the lesson for Friday, May 1st. It's the 1st of May, I can't believe it already. Um, we actually have two lessons to do today. We are gonna talk about AM and PM. And then we also have, um, this should look familiar. We did this in the beginning of the school year back in August. And remember, I told you that we'd take it again at the end of the year to see how much progress you made. So we're also, I'm gonna um, walk you through that also. Um, so let's talk first about AM and PM. AM and PM gets really, really confusing for a lot of people. Um, AM is the time between midnight, okay? Midnight is when you're in bed sleeping all the way up until noon the next day. So 12 hours. So um, in our day, we have 24 hours. If we start uh, at midnight and the clock goes around all the way for 12 hours, okay, that's gonna be um, our AM. So starting at midnight, one o'clock in the morning when you're sleeping, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning when you're sleeping, all a.m. Seven o'clock when you're waking up, you're waking up in the morning or in the a.m. Eight o'clock when you wake up uh, to eat breakfast, um, all a.m. Nine o'clock when school is starting, all in the morning, which is a.m. 10 o'clock, we're doing math, all in the a.m. or in the morning. 11 o'clock when we're getting ready um, to go to specials, all in the morning, a.m. And then finally, when it hits 12 o'clock, that's our RR time, when we're doing our reading our math groups, during that time, the clock will hit 12 o'clock, and that's when it changes to p.m. So p.m. is any time between noon Okay, so that's when we're in school, almost lunchtime, noon to midnight. So remember I said 24 hours in a day, 12 of those hours are in the a.m., 12 of those hours are in the p.m. So at 12 o'clock p.m., it's almost lunchtime. And then one o'clock when we come back to read Humphrey is p.m., two o'clock is p.m., Three o'clock when we're getting ready to go home on the and go on the buses or get picked up, it's p.m. Four o'clock we get home for a snack, it's p.m. Five o'clock when you're doing your homework, it's p.m. Six o'clock when you're eating dinner, p.m. Seven and eight getting ready for bed, getting showers, all in the p.m. after lunchtime, p.m. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock when you're sleeping, p.m. And then when the clock reaches 12 again, while you're sleeping, it changes over to a.m. So a.m. is all that time you're sleeping in the early morning. So at night when we sleep, when it turns midnight, um, it's actually morning hours, the early, early morning hours. So the time you're in bed all the way to the time we eat lunch is a.m. And the time we eat lunch all the way till midnight, when you're back in bed, is p.m. So the worksheet that I have for you just gives you some examples. Um, and I'm gonna just go through some things and I know I can't see your faces to see if you're understanding this, um, but I know your parents can help you and if you text me on Remind, I can help you, we can set up a meeting. Um, but let's just talk about it. If we are doing I ready when you first come to school, would you be doing that in the AM or in the PM? That's right, the AM. So remember, AM is any time from midnight, all the time you're sleeping, till you get up, till you get ready for school, till you get to school. We do math, um, we have our, our, our uh, specials. So all of those are going to be AM. So you do I ready in the AM. Let's try another one. Speaking of specials, do we go to specials in the AM or PM this year? 
That's right, we go in the a.m. We go at 11.05 to 11.45. It's before lunchtime, so it's still morning. It's the a.m. How about, um, do we get on the buses in the a.m. or the p.m.? Remember, a.m. is from midnight until lunchtime, and then p.m. is going to be from noon lunchtime until we go back to bed and it's midnight again. So we get on the buses in the p.m., okay? P.m., that's what I want you to remember. Kind of a difficult concept, um, but there are only nine of these to think about. Um, if you have to go back and watch the video again so you can remember a.m. and p.m., just go ahead and do that. If you wanna shut the video off now, you can shut it off now. You can go through those. I will just read those quickly um, in case you're shutting the video on and off. It says eating breakfast, you circle a.m. or p.m., taking a shower before going to sleep at night, a.m. or p.m., watching a baseball game on Friday evening, watching TV after school, swimming lessons on Sunday morning, playing toys after dinner, taking the school bus to school, riding a bike after lunch, and sunrise. That means when the sun comes up in the morning. So that's the first thing you need to do. When you finish that, go ahead, finish that up, um, hit pause on the, the video, and then when you're ready, you're going to get this. Now mine, when I printed it out, I printed it out front, back, and front. Um, some of you might have three pieces because you didn't print front to back, that's okay. This is that um, test that we took in the beginning of the year that I told you you'd be taking it again. Most of you got about three or four right in the beginning of the year. Remember I said we hadn't even learned how to tell time yet? So um, we've been working on time for the week and I know it's been a really, really quick week and I know I haven't been there to help you. Um, but the work I've seen you turn in looks really, really good. So what I want you to do, you're going to, I'm gonna explain how do you do this. When you finish, I need a picture of all three pages. You can send that to me on Remind, you can send it to me on Seesaw, you can email it to me, but it's really, really important that I get the score for this because I have to turn that in. So I would appreciate your help. Okay. So, the first thing you're going to do is circle a.m. or p.m. Do you eat dinner in the a.m. or the p.m.? You're going to circle one. Do you go to school in the a.m. or the p.m.? Do you go to bed in the a.m. or p.m.? Okay. Now you're going to go here. You have an analog clock, which is a clock, a circular clock with the numbers. And you have a digital clock like we have on the smart board that just tells you the time. You have to look at this clock and match it to the correct time. So I'm going to read the hour hand first, the short hand. It's 2, and then I'm going to read the minute hand, 5, 10, 15. So I'm going to take and draw a line from here, connecting here to 215. And then you can finish up the other two. We should have 745. And 1.30. Why don't you go ahead and hit pause so you can finish that up. When you're ready, you can return. Okay, now that you've finished the first page, you have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. You have to read the time on the clock and circle the correct answer. So hour hand, minute hand. And then they give you three choices. Be careful because the three choices are all really, really close. So make sure you're looking carefully. So six of those for you to do. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video um, so that you can do that right now. Okay, now that you've finished the first two pages, this is the only page you have left. There are three clocks and you actually have to write the time. They give you lines to write on. So read the hour hand first and then count by fives with the minute hand and write the correct time in here, okay? Remember the hour goes before the colon or the two dots, the minute goes afterwards. Okay, 
when you finish, remember I said I need a picture of those so I can prove to Mrs. Kronz that you have all learned how to tell time and you're really good at it. Um, so get those to me. If you have questions, let me know. All right, enjoy your day. And um, I miss you guys. I hope you're doing well. Bye.